This was Okinawa on the eve of the signing of Japanese surrender. Hundreds of transport planes were ready to leave with airborne troops who were to begin the occupation by landing on Atsugi. When MacArthur himself landed on the Atsugi airfield, about 18 miles from Tokyo, Japan's fade-out as a power and an empire was very near. Yes, it was indeed a satisfactory moment for MacArthur and the men he led when old glory was hoisted here. As the American planes came roaring in, the Japanese went trudging out. For them, the bitterness of total defeat was only just beginning. MacArthur's staff gave sharp orders to Japanese officers and every precaution was being taken against treachery. From Atsugi, the scene changes to the battleship Missouri. This great ship provided the stage for the end of the drama and the final curtain. MacArthur, coming aboard, is greeted by Admiral Nimitz. The pictures that follow show the highlights of the formal surrender ceremony, the whole of which lasted only about 20 minutes. First, the arrival of the Japanese empowered to sign. The one-legged Shigemitsu, Japan's foreign minister, togged up as he thought appropriately for the occasion, hobbled to the table. General Umeju was to sign on behalf of the general staff. Douglas MacArthur, showing little signs of what he must have been feeling, opened the proceeding. We are gathered here, representatives of the major warring powers, to conclude a solemn agreement whereby peace may be restored. It is my earnest hope, and indeed the hope of all mankind, that from this solemn occasion, a better world shall emerge out of the blood and carnage of the past, a world founded upon faith and understanding, a world dedicated to the dignity of man and the fulfillment of his most cherished wish for freedom, tolerance, and justice. I now invite the representatives of the Emperor of Japan and the Japanese government and the Japanese Imperial General Headquarters to sign the instrument of surrender at the places indicated. Shigemitsu was the first to sign Japan's unconditional surrender. All of us who watch this historic picture would do well to remember that although these signatures have brought peace now, they do not guarantee it forever. The maintenance of peace will demand our utmost vigilance for long years to come. Umeju followed Shigemitsu. Will General Wainwright and General Percival step forward and accompany me while I sign? MacArthur then put his signature to the document using two pens, one of which he handed to General Wainwright thin and haggard from his captivity. The other he presented to General Percival, a prisoner since Singapore. Then, briefly, he rang down the curtain.
Let us pray that peace be now restored to the world and that God will preserve it always. These proceedings are closed.